Music has the power to really change your experience. When you are dealing with challenging situations, music is often a way to get some peace and solace that you can't get through any other means. I've been with the Bach Choir a little over a year now, and A Musical Heart is our relatively new hospice program. We're partnering with one of our orchestral players. Her name is Nina Falk, and this really was her baby, her brainchild. Bethlehem Lehigh Valley has always supported and appreciated and valued music. For us to be able to give back in a different way is such an honor. We are partnering with hospital networks in the region. So this program brings people together and organizations together and communities together in a way that aren't possible in other realms. Musicians, I think, by nature are very empathetic. We try to tap into what emotion is inherent in the music, but also we want to share emotional moments with people. It's a give and take when you make music. We play, we sing for people who are in the last few months or few weeks or even few minutes of their lives. Sometimes the patients are sleeping, sometimes they want to chat, sometimes they're non-responsive, and then I try to respond to where they are. So if they're sleeping, I might start by humming or doing something very quiet, maybe a lullaby. When we play for patients, we try to tune into them so they give us the information. You try to kind of intuit where they are, what they need at that given moment. I went into a room and the nurse explained to me that this man was not responsive, but and he had two visitors. I started to play Amazing Grace. Near the end, he started singing. We thought he wasn't responsive, but he started singing with the music. Scientifically, music has a, some powerful interactions with the brain and memory that we don't fully understand yet. But also, you know, emotionally, the reason I actually got into music to begin with is because it really helped me feel less alone. Someone was really, really agitated. Um, they were sort of repeating words over and over and over again. I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. And I started singing some some Broadway show tunes <laughs> from when she was young, and um, suddenly she started singing along. Her mantra, instead of I'm afraid, I'm afraid, became words from the song, and I ended with my favorite things, and the, the last line is, and then I don't feel so bad, and she kept singing, I don't feel so bad, not, not so bad, not so bad, not so bad. It's important for the Bach Choir to participate in hospice programs because we want to make sure that from a young person to people at the end of their days, that we are there to give music to them. And that's an expression of our belief about how important music is for our community. In our society, we don't always know how to think about dying and death. We're all afraid of it. You know, we've never been there, right? When the music comes at close to the end of life, it makes you feel part of something bigger. We're all healed in that experience. <laughs>